Good morning guys and welcome back. I am out uh, in the Highlands now. This is the first time I've tackled a Monroe in over a year. Just with all the restrictions and everything that's going on. But now we're allowed to go out for days as in like different council areas. So I can travel north and start tackling the Monroes again. I've just parked the car at the, the car park for this Monroe. I'm going to carry on up here. I'm keeping moving at the moment because the size of the horns on these ewes are absolutely massive. Um, so yeah, I don't want to, don't want to stop. It's kind of like Menvoric all over again when I was getting eyed up by the, uh, by the local sheep. But yeah, the Monroe is just over the crest that hill behind the camera. I'm going to stop in a minute and fix this uh, little rattly tin of gas because it's annoying me and then press on. This is Ben Honzi. Guys, I've been climbing for about 40 minutes. Yeah, just stopped doing a wee bit of drone, things like that. So, yeah, 40 minutes of walking so far. I just thought I'd tell you a wee bit more about Ben Honzi. It's spelt Ben Chonzi, but pronounced Honzi. It sits at 931 meters. It's positioned just north, or a couple of miles north, of the town of Cymru. Yeah, and reading my book before I came up here it was described as a somewhat unassuming hill and amongst somewhat unassuming hills this path that I'm on just now has been superb and from what I can see I think it's going to lead me all the way to the top so a clearly defined route and on a day like today you just can't ask for any more simple walking I do have my map and compass and everything with me so just in case just in case but yeah, as soon as you cross the little wooden bridge, a couple of hundred metres from the car park, you turn the corner and there it is. Big rolling mound of a hill just sitting in the distance. So pretty much from the get-go, you'll see how far you've got to go. There's no surprises, there's no nothing. There it is. Just crack on and get it done. Oh my God, there's a beast. I have been hearing the grouse all the way up this hill, hiding in the heather. That one was just positioned right in front of me, so I stopped quickly, got the camera going, I've just caught it. On the map, there is loads of little indication that there's grouse shooting butts up here, and I now see why. They're everywhere, you can hear them everywhere. So I've decided I'm going to shed this top layer just now. So I'm getting a bit of a sweat on. I'm looking at the path, it's straight up. There is a slight breeze coming towards me, but I know that when I'm on the crest of that hill, the wind's going to pick up. So I'm going to shed this layer just now, get the benefit of uh, 
been able to cool down and then when I'm up there get the hard shell back on So I've just cut off the, the main Land Rover track. It's marked by a little cairn and that's where you, you take a left or you head north and you start to go up the side of the, uh, the hill with about 220 metres of climb still to go. Had a wee couple of minutes here looking back and you can start to see out some of the amazing hills in the distance. Uh, I'll show you them more when we're at the top. I can pick out Ben Moore. Stubbinian and Ben Vorlich Loch Ern, which I've climbed in the past. But more about them when we're at the summit. That's me, about 870 metres, I've got 60 metres more, uh, 60 metres of height more until we get to the summit, but I've got about a K of walking, so it's really started to level out, and as I suspected, that wind is coming over the top of the hill, so as soon as I hit the top of this, uh, this Monroe, and I get the summit, it's going to be a warm kit on because I'll cool down really, really quickly. Oh my God, it's so good. So that's me at the top of Ben Honsey, that last maybe K in, about 870 metres. Um, it was just, it was really, really flat and it's a cracking walk in. As I got up to the summit cairn here, I was obviously recording, but I didn't see there was a guy just hiding in there, he was enjoying it, so I was like, whoops, had to turn the camera quickly off because I just don't want to invade anybody's privacy. As you can see, I've got all my uh, cold weather kit on, the majority of it it's absolutely chilly up here. I've got my dinner or my breakfast on the go. Breakfast, lunch kind of thing. It's, it's about nine in the morning. But yeah, I'm just going to enjoy these views. I'll let you see these views. I'm going to enjoy this and then head on down. This has been an absolutely superb Monroe. Probably the easiest one I've had yet. But we'll discuss it in a wee second. thought while my brunch is boiling away we'll go through some of the hills that in the distance you can see here especially on such a clear day so in the distance there the main one in the middle you've got the little it's more conical than anything that is Ben Lors to the right of that you've got Anne Stuck and to the left you've got Ben Glass and say that's to the north and if we move more round to the northwest in the far distance there, you have, um, what do we have, Ben Moore, and what's the one to the left of that, Stubinian, that's it, Ben Moore and Stubinian, try to remember these, and then further into the left, just behind these people that are walking up, you've got Ben Vorlick, um, which I've been up in the past, but I've got no views from it, but yeah, Absolutely stunning views, could not have asked for anything more.
So guys, that is uh, Ben Honzi in the bag. Quite a solitary Monroe, as there's not any others around about it, so you can't join them up, you can't link them up. But yeah, this is a, a really, really cracking spot. Like I say, there's a Land Rover track all the way up to about the 700 metres point, and then you start to come up the side of the hill, where it's a bit more mossy and grassy. Then for the last K, it's a, only a 60 metres climb, so it's relatively flat, and you've broke the back of the work, about 870 metres. Um, but yeah, the views up here are absolutely stunning. I don't think I could have asked for anything better. I've just got these massive clouds just dancing across the horizon and just, it's absolutely amazing when you're up this high to just to see everything. Unbelievable. So, I am just going to quickly finish up here and then head on down because in the distance I can see that there is uh, some snow flurries on their way in. I've seen a couple of bits of snow coming in already. So yeah, before I get caught in that, get off this hill, pack everything away. Pack everything away and then get off the hill. And yeah, back to the car. I am so glad that I got myself out of bed and came and done this today. Absolutely superb. So until next time, I will see you later. But if you've liked that, give it a wee thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, like I said before, going out and doing the moon rows now that lockdown's starting to lift, then uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll see some more of my videos and upcoming videos. <laughs> okay, until next time, see you later.